Hi there. Learn how to make these cool stone mosaic projects, one made using thinset mortar as the adhesive and the other using PVA glue. So we did the skim coat on this and before I transfer the pattern, I just like to go through and give it a little scrape because there's always just like little boogers in there that get in our way, right? So I just go around and I'm not trying to make it smooth, just get the boogers out and the high spots off and that's it. We're all ready to transfer our patterns and um, I like to use carbon paper and white graphite paper. So the carbon paper I use on any light background thing and I have it all cut just to fit in my surface. And here is the white graphite paper. Let's see if it cooperates. And we'll get this all laid in here. Okay, time to make the transfer. I am going to line up the center line of my pattern with the, my little marks. And you can just use a pencil and get this initial line in. And just keep following all of your lines until you have the entire pattern transferred onto your backing. Now these are gonna be a little wiggly and we can do some straightening with a ruler. If you want, you can put a little piece of tape on here to hold it in place. But this is a small piece, so I feel fairly confident I can hold it in. You can use a different color to trace over these lines. That way you can really tell which ones you did and which ones you didn't do. I think we're good. And it's light, but I'm gonna go back in now with the, my ruler and just kind of tidy things up. Getting ready to get started. Today we're using these little marble cubes. As you can see, I've pre-cut my colors. I've done a little dry laying to make sure I know where I wanna put what. And um, I've cut these with my hammer and hardy, but they can also be cut with the compound nippers. I love these little tiles because once you cut them, you can see the beautiful marble inside. It's much prettier than the outside tumble part. This cut edge in mosaics and stone is called the ribbon edge. The beautiful sparkly inside. And in the words of Verdiano Marzi, you're the first one who's ever seen that. I went over all of my um, tracing paper lines just cause they were a little light. And I also went through and marked my colors and where they go just so I don't lose track of where I am. Remember we did our scratch coat with this simple set and that's the same uh, material I'm gonna use for the adhesive on this project. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit out, enough for me to work for a while. And when I run out, I'll just come back to the container for more. This is a great product cause no mixing involved, inside only. There's no real focal point in this piece, so uh, you can kind of just start in the corner and work your way. We're working in straight lines, and it's not like we have a flower that we need to work around or anything. So I'm just going to get started by laying um, a little adhesive up here. Make a bit of a trail try to not cover up too much of my lines. And once I have a good little bed on here, I can just start putting my pieces in. Push them in so we get a little bit of a 
wish going on. And just work your way filling in the pattern. So I am just going to get a bit of this laid out. I have about a two inch little, uh, I don't know, river. And at this point, I'm just setting them in, not really pushing them into the adhesive in case I want to make any adjustments or, you know, make them a little tippy one way or the other to show off a particular feature of each piece. And, you know, this material is pretty forgiving. Sometimes you need a littler piece if you want to try to keep your rows going. And sometimes you need a bigger piece. And because it's hand cut, you're going to see all them. So now I got a bit of a area laid down that I'm happy with. Get it all lined up with my pattern. And now I can just push them down to embed them and maybe make them a little crooked to show off the marble and the handmadeness of our mosaic. I don't want to box myself in by doing this all of this color at once. So I'm going to switch now to the next color. So I'm kind of just working all the way across instead of uh, otherwise, if I try to do all this, then I have to try and sneak my adhesive in and I don't really have as much room to work. When you're working with this cut marble, you always have to also check that you're working with the ribbon side up. You know, of course, because it's the most beautiful side. Hey, so I'm going to work on this piece that we already did the frame for, a simple design, and I'm gonna do it in black and white. We painted the board black, remember, because we don't wanna see the background when I use Wellbond as my adhesive. Wellbond dries clear, and we won't even see it. We will only see black as our interstices. So for those of you who don't want to work with thin set or don't like it, using Wellbond on a black surface where we won't see the natural wood, Wellbond is a great alternative. When you bake those cookies, did you make them from scratch? Oh, I did. I think I forgot one of my ingredients. No, um, was the butter warm? It was cold and I put it in the microwave and made it warm. Yep, that's why. You should put the cookie dough in the refrigerator before you bake them. That's the trick? Yes, because if the butter's warm already, it like melts really quickly. Oh yeah, that's exactly what happened. I thought maybe I forgot. I I'm not saying that's soda. not that's all no, of it, that but I, make... I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Nope. I was gonna say that the other day, but I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry again, you're right. Yeah. I, I know too much stupid shit.